Greetings. Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about what is georeferencing and also how to georeference an image in ArcMap or ArcGIS and then how to serve up or publish that georeferenced image inside ArcGIS Online. Let's get started. Now I've started ArcGIS Desktop or ArcMap. I'm going to add that ungeo-referenced image, and because it's ungeo-referenced, it's giving me a warning saying, "Hey, your ref your image is unreferenced, ungeo-referenced." So I know that, and that's a the whole purpose of our exercise today. I'm going to go to the Customize window, and I'm going to turn on a toolbar that we'll need, and that's called the georeferencing toolbar. We'll be able to do everything we want to do as far as referencing this image with that. Also I'm going to save my map document with my image inside of it and I'm going to give it a name, give it a location and my working folder that I'll be able to remember and come back to later on. Now that we've done those things let's go ahead and sign in to ArcGIS Online. Now I don't really need to sign in for the purposes of adding my base map that I'm going to georeference this to, but since I'm going to, in the next video, show you how to upload this georeferenced image to ArcGIS Online, I might as well sign in now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a base map called the OpenStreetMap. Many of you know about OpenStreetMap. It is a crowdsourced street atlas of the world, and fortunately, uh, we can access that inside ArcGIS Online. The nice thing about OpenStreetMap is that it's got streets, and as you can see, our image has streets in it and so it'll make a great base map for us to use. I'm also going to change the data frame properties and set the projection to this projection that matches ArcGIS Online's base map and that is this WGS84 Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere. That'll just make things a lot easier to be able to put it in the same projection as we're already working with inside ArcGIS Online. Now I could change that if I wanted to work with it locally, no problem, but since my goal is to get this image up on ArcGIS Online, I'm just going to go straight to the Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere. Now I'm going to zoom in to where I know my base map is located, and that is of course in Central Pennsylvania in State College. Zooming there now with the OpenStreetMap base on, I'm zooming right to my study area. So if you did not know where your study area is exactly, you'd have to do a little bit of research here to find out. I know where it is as I've done that research, and so now what I can do is I can sort of scooch this window so that I can see, as you can see, in one of the tools inside the georeferencing toolbar is getting this dual view. And because you can't see both of my screens, I'm just going to kind of show you how these look on my end of things. I've got the base map on the left side, and I've got my image on the right side. So now I'm going to be ready to add my control points, which is the thing that I want to do next. We're going to add these control points. These control points basically are like little digital push pins that tie certain unknown locations to known locations. So if I add control points, I'm going to obviously, in this case, look for street intersections. Those are my landmarks. Now, if you've got a satellite image and you've got a piece of terrain out in the rural area, you're going to have a bit of a, a challenge, but it's going to be uh, able to do the same kind of thing where you're pointing at river intersections or, or prominent mountain peaks or something or trails or something like that that you can see in both your maybe historical aerial photo and your current satellite image. In this case it's streets and as you can see as I add these control points note that my image has already rotated so that north is now at the top and so it's it rotated my Sanborn historical map basically by about 45 degrees and as I add more control points the better my image matching is going to be in terms of geo-registration or geo-referencing, referencing my historical map to my OpenStreetMap base. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm adding those control points. The more control points that you add, uh, as long as they're good and accurate, you're going to get a higher order transformation, as you can see here in the geo-referencing help. You can read more about that in ArcGIS help. You can also view the link summary table. You can delete points that uh, are not adding to the spatial accuracy. Recognize that I'm skipping over that, but you can definitely do that. Take a look now at the image. We're going to use the transparency to kind of get an idea of how well we're doing here in terms of seeing the historical map on top of the open street map as I adjust the transparency there. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Yep, I'm liking what I'm seeing. How about you? You see how easy that is? Georeferencing toolbar inside ArcMap. Set it back to opaque. 
we're going to rectify which there's two choices you can update georeferencing or you can rectify rectify makes a new file so I'm going to make a new file here and put it in my working folder I've added a satellite image now so we can take a look at a couple of things here I'm also going to look at the image analysis window you can see that I can now slide the opaqueness the opacity of the image I can also do this swiping where it's giving me a good idea of before and after and here's really where I can see the expansion of Penn State notice how small those buildings were back in 1922 and how much they've expanded and also become surrounded by larger buildings on campus no surprise there same scene replicated in numerous college campuses and also hospitals and other uh, institutions around the country and around the world I'm going to go ahead and save my working arc GIS map document it's looking quite good at this point I'm very happy with it I've got a couple of base maps in there but now since I want to serve it up into ArcGIS Online I'm actually going to remove those base images because inside ArcGIS Online when I serve the data it's going to say hey you can't serve base data from ArcGIS Online into you can't make services out of services that are already there it's going to give me a error message that's that's why I I've actually removed them from my map document. There's one more thing that I need to do here in ArcGIS Desktop. Note that my image is still my original image. So I need to add the rectified image that I updated when I said rectify to a new image. So I'm going to add that one right now. Now I can go ahead and remove my original unrectified image. This is very important because what you want to do, of course, is you want to upload to ArcGIS Online your rectified image. It's, it's something to keep in mind because they both look the same inside your ArcMap environment, but note that the new image is actually in this Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere. So you want to check that. I've got my new image, and I'm going to go ahead and save that map document. Again, I've removed the base layers. And now I can go ahead to share the map as a service inside ArcGIS online and that's what we're gonna do in the next video thanks so you now know number one what georeferencing is and why it's important and number two how to georeference an image in ArcMap or ArcGIS desktop now let's discuss how to serve a georeferenced image in ArcGIS online whoops we're out of time in this video, so I encourage you to watch the video entitled How to Serve a Geo-Referenced Image in ArcGIS Online. Thanks.